it's a, an exercise. Um, draw a uh, go out on the street and uh, either pretend to be one of the old view cameras or actually go get an old view camera and look through it. Everything will be upside down. Okay? So what I want you to do is paint a picture of an upside down town and then turn it around the right way and see what you've done. That's a cityscape. Then I want you to do the same thing with a countryscape, you know, just a big, wide country scene kind of thing. And make it a wide piece of, you know, like this kind of wide format, if you can. If you have something that will allow you to do that, that would be great. Uh, I like something like, you take a, one of these big pads and I rip it in half lengthwise, cut it, actually, lengthwise, so that I get these long strips that are great for, for, um, yeah, there you go, like this. That's it. See? That's the format, yeah, but you, but you paint it upside down and then you, or draw it upside down if you prefer to draw, or cut it out and paste it upside down if you want to do cutouts. Whatever you want to do is okay. Any kind of art form you want to do, any kind of medium you want to do, but do it upside down, then flip it over, look at it, and sign it that way. Or sign it upside down, if you wish. You can. You have my utmost and abject permission to go ahead and sign it upside down, if you so wish to do that. I think that would be a terrific idea about upside down towns, you know, for sale. The other thing I wanted to mention is that a number of people have been producing some wonderful stuff and they've been selling their originals. I just want to say, as nicely as I can, that that's incredibly stupid. Um, what you want to do is you want to sell prints of those and you want to get the prints made from Raj, yeah, because, because otherwise you'd be dumb to, to do it anywhere else. So contact us. If you have something that needs printing, contact us and we will put you guys together so you can get your prints made in-house by school folks. That's important by folks who are in, in your, in your uh, domain, your work domain. And they do a very fantastic thing. You need to talk to them about stuff. If you want prints made, these are the, that's the way to do it. It's the, it's just amazing. I, I'm I'm astonished by the process. It's as good as stone litho. I, having said that, I can back it up. It's as good as a stone litho. It's got this. It's got the qualities of a stone litho. And it isn't a stone litho. It's just the most amazing part. So uh, don't sell the originals. Sell your sell your prints, and then you have fifty. Let's say fifty edition of fifty. Then you have fifty customers potentially for your original when you are ready to sell it. But you should never sell your original until you have at least fifty prints out there with fifty potential customers to buy your original. They liked it enough to buy the print. One of them surely will buy the original. See. That's how it's done, and it also creates value for the original to have 50 prints out there, somebody bought. 